Welcome to Tuesday. It is the 24th of August, 2021. Pretty much average late August weather. There's really nothing unusual coming our way here in the next several days. It's just typical for this time of year. We will have some breezy periods, especially across the central Rockies and northern Rockies. So we'll have a little bit of wind to deal with. Best chances of rain will remain for the northern areas, Montana, the Dakotas into the upper Midwest. Those are the areas that will have the best chances of rain. It's just going to be kind of spotty shower and thunderstorm activity elsewhere. Temperatures are going to be pretty warm to downright comfortable. The warmest temperatures are going to be today and tomorrow. Temperatures more comfortable. There will be lots of 70s and 80s by the end of the week and the weekend. And when will it rain in California? Is rain ever going to come back and help with those fires there? We'll take a look at that. Here's today's satellite imagery. Looks a lot like yesterday. The water vapor shows dry air nosing in out of the west coast and the desert southwest. You see the swirl of clouds up here. We've got a low going across Alberta into Manitoba and Saskatchewan. It's going to go right along here. That's going to make it breezy along the Continental Divide. Anytime low pressure systems pass to our north, it gets breezy to windy. So this will be the active area where these storms are going to be going. As we take a look at the latest smoke map, you in many areas have probably noticed that the smoke is not nearly as bad, but there is a ribbon of deeper smoke that is going across Northern California, Southern Oregon, through Idaho, through parts of Wyoming and Montana, into the Dakotas and parts of Nebraska. While there is a lot of, well, just clear air that is covering Colorado and Southern Wyoming, this area enjoying the best visibility in a long time yesterday. The upper level winds will direct this smoke here, but I want you to notice something. Even though it's showing a lot of fires here, it doesn't mean all of these fires are still burning. Many of these that are showing are out or contained or not producing much smoke. And look, there is no more snow, smoke production up here like there was what we've had all summer. That smoke has really peeled off as the weather has gotten cooler weather up there along with that trend towards cooler wet conditions across western Canada and parts of the northern Rockies. This is today's upper level chart. We've got a big area of high pressure over Texas. The southwest winds aloft, but you see we have that system up here we saw in satellite, another low right here, another low right here. So every two or three days along this track here, systems will be moving through. That's why the northern areas are going to have the best chance of moisture. This is Friday. This is Sunday. Now what will happen on Sunday is as this trough, the next one swings through, some cooler air will spill out of Canada along and east of the divide, and that's going to cool us off a little bit by the end of the weekend and into early next week. Looking 10 days out, some interesting things I want to show you here. Take a look at this. You see this right here over the panhandle of Texas? The European model, which is what I'm showing you, is forecasting that right around the end of August and early September, we may have a hurricane or tropical storm developing in the Gulf, and it may turn into Texas, then into the central United States. But this is a computer model, and computer models tend to do awful with hurricanes when you go out five or ten days. But we're going to watch this because this could be a real big player if this ends up coming together in the longer term. But notice this is going into the start of Labor Day weekend. We have more lows going across southern Canada. We've got a front coming into the Pacific Northwest. So the pattern is going to stay active. So it's not going to get real hot. If it does get hot, it won't be for long. This is the 10 day precipitation forecast. And you can see this is the action. Boy, they really need the rain right here. This is going to be really good news for Minnesota, the eastern Dakotas, parts of Iowa that really need rain. Montana going to get more, North Dakota as well. And look at southern areas of Canada. You can see that there's going to be in the Rockies some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. It's just not going to be widespread, but there's still going to be showers and thunderstorms around. And this is the model showing that potential tropical activity late next week and into Labor Day weekend. We'll keep an eye on it. 10 days, this is what the average temperatures are looking like. If you were to add up the next 10 days, the coolest of cool is in the northern Rockies and the northern plains, while the rest of the United States will be near to above average with temperature. Now let's take a look at the rain prospects in California. Is it ever going to rain and get those fires out? Well, it's going to be a while, folks. I think for the rest of August and into the first couple of days of September, there really isn't good chance of rain in Oregon or Northern California where we're getting most of the smoke. 
But uh, what I'm showing you here is a is a long range model that goes out to 45 days. So you got to take this with a grain of salt. But our confidence is growing that this area right here, right between the 10th and the 15th of September, or maybe as late as the 15th to the 20th of September, there should be a system getting a bigger penetration south and east along the coast that'll be a better rain producer. And I think this is something that uh, is, is going to be slow to, to evolve. You know, I'm talking about something that is pretty far down the road. It's probably going to be four weeks, folks. But after that period, I do see a pattern change that will lead to better chances of rain in the Pacific Northwest, including the Sierras of Central and Northern California. And if you were to take a look at the seasonal forecast that came out here recently, it's encouraging as well. This is the forecast for the month of September. Anywhere you see white, it's average rain. Green is above average rain. Brown is below average rain. And as you can see in the month of September, we're starting to see the development of more rain along the Pacific Northwest coast. By October, actually, Central and Northern California, the Pacific Northwest has above average, we'll put a plus there, above average precipitation. And then as we go into the three months of November, January, November through January, look at this. I mean, we've got several different shades of green coming on in. We're pretty confident this is going to transpire. Why? Well, with the fact that La Nina is going to strengthen a little bit, what we do tend to see in a La Nina pattern, sometimes during the fall and early winter season in the Pacific Northwest is a stronger jet stream onshore the winds come onshore, bringing more energy and more moisture our way. And this does bode well. A La Nina reforming this fall and winter is good news for this particular area here. Although you see where the bad news is right here, where the drier than normal conditions are going to be for that three month period. So there's help on the way for Central and Northern California and the Pacific Northwest but it's probably four weeks away. Maybe we can get lucky and maybe it's only three weeks. So we're gonna to have to deal with the dryness there for a little bit longer, but we do see a light at the end of the tunnel. Have yourself a great Tuesday. We'll see you on Wednesday.